Welcome to Zen Fits. <laughs> I was in a bar fight. You should see the other guy. No, really. I had uh, uh, basal cell carcinoma removed <coughs> yesterday. A little skin cancer. And I thought it was little. thought it was just a bimp. You know, a little. But it had roots. So cut it about the size of a quarter. And then the roots, they had to... But anyway, they got it out and I had a really uh, good time. <laughs> I recommend it for everybody. Uh, maybe you too will get a skin cancer. Anyway, uh, I told a joke. Uh, uh, the title of this talk is, let me see, I forgot what it was. <laughs> oh, the frog, that, it's about a frog. I won't tell you the title. So anyway, I was... Uh, 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 when, when you get the operation, it's, you, you just get a face full of Novocaine. So I'm talking to the surgeon, you know, we're having the jokes. And, and there was a, uh, the previous, I had a skin cancer some years before, and I went to a dermatologist on, uh, this is in Richmond, Midlothian, uh, who collected frogs. And his whole room was full of stuff, office full of stuff, frogs. Oh, he was a nice, really good guy, and everybody would brought him a frog. He had no room left, for, and so uh, I was one of his last patients, and uh, I went to see him, and I brought him a gift, and uh, uh, so I brought my uncle, Tommy gave me this frog, and uh, it, it's, a, it's a brass frog, <coughs> so uh, all the other fr frogs were stuffed, and this is brass, it's heavy. And I told him, I said, uh, if you give, if you give this, fro if you would, this frog here, I'm giving you a frog that will fuck all the other frogs. So, <laughs> so this is the frog that will fuck all the other frogs. And I thought that was so, he thought it was so, she thought it was so funny. She almost sliced my nose. Never tell a surgeon a joke while they're doing the surgery. Rule number one. <laughs> so I thought about uh, well, while I was getting this, and she was getting out the roots, you know. And I took, a, took about five hours because uh, uh, first you have to get set up, take a picture, and then they uh, then, then the surgeon comes in and she digs around and scrapes it out. And then they have to wait about an hour and a half while they check the slides to see if they got it all. And then when it's clear, uh, they come back in and sew it up. And, uh, and then they put dissolving stitches in there so I don't have to go back. Anyway, so I thought of the root of karma. You know, like the, the, the uh, this, is, this is like the root of karma. Uh, karma, there's many ways to look at karma, uh, but one way is kind of like a uh, cancer that keeps coming back, a, root, a pattern of behavior that keeps coming, I won't do that again, I'm not going to, and then you do it again. I'm never going to go, I'm never going to get that kind of a person, again. I'm not going to get that kind, and you do it again. So no matter what we vow, we end up doing it again. We do it again. So it's kind of like that's karma. That's this pattern that keeps repeating itself. No matter what we do, we can't stop the groove. It's kind of like there's, a, there's a grooves in our psyche, like in a record, and consciousness is like a needle. And you put it in the groove, and it plays your song. It plays your pattern. And you can't get out of it. It's kind of like a uh, roller coaster of you standing on the dock and the roller coaster comes there. Once you get in that roller coaster, you can't get out until it goes through the whole, all the loops. Comes back, dumps you out. And you say, I'll never do that again. Or you say, oh, I can't wait to do that again. So how do you get this thing out? This, this uh, root of karma. Uh, can't dig it out. You can laugh it out. <laughs> you can laugh it out. So the, the root of karma, the, the laugh, 
Like the frog that kills all the other frogs, they're all, they're all stuffed frogs. This, this frog is heavy. Oh, it's a big, this is a real frog. You're not going to mess around with this. Those are the little stuffed frogs, you see. This is the frog that will root out all those other frogs. And it's laughter. So if you notice a record has a groove like this. You ever know that? And the needle plays here, and it puts, collects, I'm, I think this is correct, but I don't care, I'm using it. So the groove is like this, and the needle goes there, and it plays both sides and puts them together in music. So you got two, so you got two sides, it's duality. This is yes or no. The wave and the crest. Uh, can you separate them? Can you separate the wave from the crest? No, except in the music. So if you put the music, the needle in the crest, in the duality, music comes out or laughter comes out. So you have to see the duality in your patterns. You have to see the yes that is no and the no that is yes. You have to see the ambiguity. You have to see the absurdity of the patterns you're stuck in. If you see that absurdity, the needle is making laughter, and you're free from the karma. It'll come back, but you keep working it, and gradually the record runs down. Okay, thanks for dropping in. See you tomorrow. <laughs>